The Pelicans know their fans will be fired up for tonight's action. And as they came into the building, the players were plenty fired up themselves. Welcome and thank you for spending this holiday season with 2K Sports as we get ready for the special NBA presentation. This is Brian Anderson. With me, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And reporting courtside, it's Allie LaForce. And now in December, here's what the Eastern Conference standings look like. You take a look at the 76ers. They've been enjoying a truly spectacular run this season, sitting on top of the mountain in the first place spot. Well, right now for the 76ers, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season, but now they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Before we get started, we've got just enough time to head over to the sideline. Allie? Thanks, Brian. C.J. McCollum is looking to evolve his game. He said, quote, I can get out of bed and get 20. Now I need to score efficiently, make my teammates better, and impact the game in every facet. You get older, the maturity level shifts, and you understand what needs to be done. Guys? Well, looking to show how he can impact winning, Allie. Thanks for that. Well, when we look at tonight, this could come down to the backcourts, Grant. They're both very talented. Yeah, B.A., you know I love great guard play. And, of course, each team has some serious skills at that position. So expect a fast pace of play, lots of threes. <laughs> it should be one heck of a matchup. A look at the 76ers starting group. Thibel and Harris at the three and the four. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's Embiid in at the pivot spot. Manning the middle and for New Orleans Zion and Valanciunas playing up front CJ McCollum is out there with Brandon Ingram and it's Jones in at the small forward position now here's McCollum coming off a terrific game against Minnesota pass to Ingram picked by Williamson unloads from 13 the 11 footer the rebound by Embiid now the 76ers with it. Here's Harris. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. And that's the physicality he has muscling through contact. Harris uses all of the tools to get his points. McCullum outside. Pass to Ingram. Over Maxi. No good. In and out off the rim. McCullum against Harden. Harden drawing the double team. Harris outside. Screen by Embiid. 11 feet out. Harris misses. Pass to Valanciunas. Ingram with the ball. Valanciunas sets a screen. 11 feet out. Shoots over Maxi. No good off the glass. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Now here's Harden. Outside Tybal. Harris on the wing. Covered by Williamson. Just five to shoot. To the wing on the left. That's good. From Embiid on the assist by Harris. Now look, he can certainly extend his range, but Embiid is very comfortable from distance. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Fantastic replay we just saw of the Mobile One drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Outside Harden. Embiid is screen on Williamson. And here's Harris outside. The shot off that time. The Pelicans have gone one of four to begin this one. Here's McCullum. You know his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Pass to Maxi. Back to Harden. Let's go with a three. And it's Thibel missing. 
and Joel Embiid. Last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. Ingram. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Jones against Maxi. Pass to Harden. Harden drawing the double team. Outside Maxi. From downtown. Here's Embiid. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, Embiid just terrorizes defenses on the inside. Good luck guarding the big fella. The free throw drops for Embiid. It's tough to find things to not love about Embiid's game. It's so complete. He's a true two-way player who is a nightmare you have to deal with on both ends. And so he makes both from the line. When you think of the 76ers, Richard, they've had so many Hall of Fame players. Allen Iverson sticks out to me growing up. I loved watching AI play. And then when I entered into the league, I was competing against them. If you grew up in the 90s or 2000s, AI was a guy that just kind of changed everything for me. Now here's McCollum. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And again, New Orleans, no good. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Outside backseat. Here's Embiid, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The bottom line for this Pelican squad, they need to get better on the defensive end. They may have to get more 3 and D type of guys on this roster. All right, so about the Pelicans, what has been holding them back? Well, B.A., it's definitely not the offense, especially with the healthy Zion. If they can find a way to have greater consistency on the defensive end, then they can take a big step as a franchise. And he drops it first. And the Pelicans making a change here. Hayes is checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket and dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. Harden, the pass to Thibel. Harden with a screen on Jones. Back to Harden. Pass to Embiid. Yes! And a nice assist from Harden. Embiid's got eight points. No slowing Embiid down. He goes right past the contact. Outside Ingram. Back to Jones. Williamson against Embiid. Williamson passes to Ingram. Pulls it from the top of the key. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Their first chance this season playing the Pelicans. They didn't give up a single victory to this team last regular season, which went according to script. Ivan passes to Maxi. Embiid against Hayes. And stolen by Williamson. Ball to the paint. Here's McCollum. And he banks in the layup. Like everything he's doing so far offensively, finding his spots, making strong selections. McCollum against Harden. Pass to Harris. Now here's
here's Embiid, guarded closely. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now, three for three. Look, inside, Embiid just has all the tools for success. The height, the power, and more importantly, the tenacity. Now here's McCollum. Yep, that one goes. He's got six. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Max, he finds Embiid. Off target from three-point range. And sometimes on defense, you can just get lucky. McCollum against Maxi. Oh, stolen by Harden. Pass to Harris. Right side, Maxi. To the right side. Six to shoot. The three is up. No good there. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Look, sometimes that's how it goes. Hayes with a screen on Harden. McCullum pass to Hayes. And he gets the bucket. Now just a two-point Philadelphia lead. The combo guard skills of McCullum. Not just a score, he's also a more than capable passer. And the 76ers call time here. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland Gray. And McCollum has shown that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. will go for a different look here. Nance, he's checked in for Zion Williamson. Murphy comes in for Jones. Graham's checked in for Ingram. And Alvarado's subbed in for McCollum. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. Tucker comes in for Harris. Milton's checked in for Thibel. And it's Melton in for Maxi. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Outside Harden. The Sixers again can't hit. I'm trying to think of the last time I saw him miss a shot like that. It's, it's been a while. Graham against Melton. That's the screen. Here's Graham. And it's all tied up. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. So it's Philadelphia now. Pass to Milton. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got his third assist of the night. Capable of playing either guard position. Harden's sense for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Here's Alvarado. 15 in his last outing. He's off on the layup. 76ers have gone 5 of 12 in this first quarter. 11 feet out. Melton, no good. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. As to Alvarado. Melton against Graham. 
Nets with a screen on Melton. Graham for three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Outside Harden. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Harold throws it down. Just watch James Harden. It's beautiful. He plays at his own pace. He reads the floor as well as anybody in the game. Hayes with a screen on Tucker. And the pass to Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. He put a little flare on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? Outside Milton. It's Hayes with the rebound. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Murphy. And it's New Orleans with another. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Outside Milton. A minute 15 left in the opening quarter. The Pelicans pull it in. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Pass to Graham. Up and in on the layup. And it's a five-point Pelican lead. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Melton outside. Here's Harden. On the elbow. And he gets the jumper to drop. I'm just going to say this. It's too easy for Harden. He is so good at recognizing when to rise up in that mid-range. Graham against Melton. Graham misses. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. And those are the type of shots that just drive coaches crazy. You know, I, mean, I wouldn't be shocked to see him sit on the bench if he tried that bad boy again. Now here's Milton. Melton outside. Pocket six. Over Graham. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. New Orleans has gone one or two from three-point land so far. To the middle. Got a piece of it. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Melton with the ball. Hayes picks him up. Melton passes to Milton. Graham against Harden. And Harden gets the double team from deep. Melton. No good that time. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Pelicans ahead, up by three. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. been a pretty even game through the first quarter and yeah, guys what's your take on the pelicans so far give it up for their d they're battling communicating and coming up with key stops it's been a group effort and that's what it takes to play the kind of defense that they played great showing from them the sixers trailing herb jones out there with larry nance then it's brandon ingram then there's jonas valanciunas and it's Alvarado in at the point. That's the Pelicans' five as we get into the second quarter. Just another thing that makes Embiid unguardable. He can hit shots from any spot on the floor. Pass to Valanciunas. And here's Ingram. Back to Valanciunas. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Harris has checked in for Tucker. I'm 
one thing you know you'll always get with Valanciunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Now here's Thibel. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. For three, here's Harris. Rebounded by Ingram. Harris is going one of five from the field. Thibel against Ingram. Pass to Alvarado. Here's the three. He can't get that one to fall. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And with his size and reach, Valanciunas is a monster on the board screen. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Now here's Valanciunas. Pass to Ingram. Valanciunas with a screen on Maxi. Here's Ingram. It's hauled in by the Sixers. And he's very confident from that range, but he can't make a out. Bible passes to Melton. Embiid with it. He's guarded by Nance. That's good from Embiid on the assist from Melton. Embiid's got seven points here in the quarter. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Alan Chunas with a screen on Maxi. And that one's good. Ingram. It's hard trying to match up with Ingram, especially when he's looking to score inside. Here's Melton. Tips. And here's Ingram. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Alan Chunas down low. MB covers. He got the whistle on the way up, so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, Richard, you had a long playing career. When you think of the great leaders you were around, what are some of the common threads? I think one of the common threads are the guys that work the hardest expect the most from their teammates. And that's something that I've always seen be very, very consistent with leaders because leaders, especially leaders of men in professional sports, you have to lead by example. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. More of a traditional center. Jonas Valanciunas can dominate the glass and capable of a double-double on any given night. Williamson's checked in for the Pelicans. C.J. McCollum comes in for Alvarado. Alan Chunas drops them both. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay for the line. Melton passes to Maxi. Embiid is screened on Ingram. Here's Embiid. Melton outside. Offline with a three. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Here's Ingram, gets himself open and drills him. Ingram's got six points. That's a nice looking jump shot. Ingram has shortened his motion since entering the lead, and it's paying dividends. Melton passes to Embiid. Uses the glass on the layup. Embiid's got 19 points. He's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. New Orleans calls timeout.
some of the best high flyers in the NBA. Some of this year's contenders for the dunk contest. And when you look at the names on that list, you just know that contest has a chance to be special. Well, you look at Williamson as the top vote getter, a good bet to be in this year's dunk contest. And with his hops, he might be the favorite in the contest. Everyone wants to see him compete. And there you have it. This year's dunk contest field looks incredible. We'll keep you up to date in the voting. That is always a highlight of All-Star Weekend. Watching guys just fly through the air. And I enjoy watching all of the guys on that list slam it home. Now here's Ingram. He has six. Valanciunas. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. Valanciunas has got seven points in the game. That score in this first quarter, that might have woke him up. And he's turned it on here in the second. Maxi passes to Harris. Screen by Embiid. With the 10-footer, Harris' shot is good. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? All right, thanks, Sally. Now here's Embiid. He's got 19. Harris outside. Fader on the way. Embiid can't hit. For New Orleans, they've gone four for seven in the second quarter. Pass to McCullum. Picked by Williamson. McCullum drives in. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. All right, Richard, I was looking over your accomplishments, doing a little extra prep on you. An NBA title with the Cavs, a state title in high school, and almost won it all in college at Arizona. Is that the one what if in your career? Oh, no. Thank you for bringing those up. But uh, sure, yeah, I have tons of what ifs. I have, you know, obviously the college championship. I also got Athens in the 04. And look, just for giggles, I also like to talk about the two times I lost in the NBA Finals going against Shaq and Kobe, then Tim Duncan, David Robinson, and Manu Ginobili. But the funny thing is, it's not like they didn't have Hall of Fame head coaches. It was only Phil Jackson and Greg Popovich. So, you know, I've run into a few buzz saws in my day. We got this. We got this. He sinks the second. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Uh oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. Knocks down the long J. Ooh, great look provided by Embiid. The big man just dropping down. McCullum outside. Inside. Oh, stolen by Harris. Down low. Here's Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. Yeah, and every season, Embiid seems to improve as a scorer, adding different elements and wrinkles to his game. Pass to Valentinus. And here's Ingram. Alan Tunis with a screen on Maxi. Crafty move. And Embiid with the block. Yeah, defensively, Embiid can take over a game with his reach. Big block from him there. To the inside. Stolen by Alan Tunis. Ingram against Maxi. Here's Alan Tunis. And the dunk by Alan Tunis. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. And Philadelphia calls time here.
He's checked in for New Orleans. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Melton. Here's Embiid. 21 points in the game. Here's Maxi. And a nice finish on the layup. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. The Pelicans have gone 5 of 10 in the second quarter. Milton against McCullum. Alan Chunas with a screen on Milton. McCullum shot is off. The Sixers leading. with it. Eight points in his last time out. Dybal on the wing. Misses the three. Defensively, pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Steps back. Pass to Murphy. Outside for Ingram. Shot clock at six. Over top. Goes back up. Here's Williamson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Joel Embiid. Physically, there's just no way to match up with Zion, especially now that he can go to the right hand. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And few players are as electric as Zion. The speed and power he plays with, something you see once every few decades. Hayes is checked in for New Orleans. Graham comes in for Brandon Ingram. Tucker's checked in for Philadelphia. James Harden comes in for Thibel. Second free throw, no good. And the blend of speed and power, as you said, Grant, Zion is unmatched. He's a rhino with a jetpack. And on defense, when you see him coming in the open floor, you don't want to get in his way. The explosiveness in the paint is really what makes him so efficient. There's McCullough with the three. Rebound by the 76ers. And that game will mark the end of a four-game trip. Out of bounds, it'll be Pelican's ball. Let's take a look at some numbers for Matisse Thibel. Effective field goal percentage is a great way to measure his performance over the previous 10 games. It's been much improved, a sign that his game has been evolving. New Orleans has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. McCullum, the pass to Hayes. Graham with it. Williamson with a screen on Harden. Graham for 3. And Tucker pulls it down. The 76ers have gone 8 of 15 in the second. Outside Harden from deep three-point range. The Pelicans pull it in. Hayes has got four rebounds now. Well, the Pelicans shooting only 36% during the second. McCullum outside. Inside. And finished off by Hayes. We know CJ can score it with the passing component of his game. I mean, McCollum's really upgraded it. Harden against Graham. Outside Maxi. Three-pointer. Rebounded by New Orleans. McCollum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Williamson. gets hit and there's no whistle and it happens a lot there's the AT&T 5G slam can capturing the moment the Sixers trailing they've been having major problems offensively definitely in a bit of a dry spell I see passes to Harden the teardrop can't hit that one great D that time for Williamson Oh, and there's the 
the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. down the first one. Alvarado's checked in for C.J. McCollum. Williamson hits them both. So it's Philadelphia now. Six-point game. Harden, the pass to Milton. Outside Maxi. Over Williamson. And it's Maxi missing. For New Orleans, they've gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Pass to Hayes. Here's Alvarado. Over to the wing. Now here's Hayes. Six points for him. To the wing, right side. Lock it four. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. No one covered. Graham's got ten. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. And Philadelphia calls time here. rebounding point guards over the last 10 games. Fifth best, James Harden. And even if rebounding isn't a point guard's top priority, a lot of the great ones in NBA history were productive on the boards. And these guys have that same nose for the ball. These are some scrappy players. They can hold their own in the paint with anyone. 157 left in the first half of this game. Here's Alvarado. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Hayes. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Harden. Coming in off 21 points in his last outing. High arcing shot. No luck on that one. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. They want to keep rolling here following a win against Minnesota. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. And Philadelphia has possession. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go, and they pick up two. Just an absolute 
absolute ferocious score. When Harden gets a chance to score from the interior, he doesn't think twice about shooting. Now here's Grant. Ten points for him. Pass to Murphy. There's the three. And another three for New Orleans. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Graham against Maxi. Harrell up top. Back to Maxi. Going inside. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is. Willing to attack the basket no matter who is in front of him. And the improvement of Tyrese Maxey's three-point shot from his first season to second year, just unprecedented. He improved by over 12% with a huge increase in attempts as well. That's yeah, with a screen on Maxey. Graham, that's good. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Now Harden, big-time contributor on offense, just over 22 points a game. Fires from deep. Nails it from beyond the arc. Harden's got seven points. Taking control of the tempo. Harden won't let the other teams bring their last three into a roll. <laughs> Thanks, I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. I know you cannot be happy with this team's play in the first half. What will you tell them they need to improve on? The score and our effort, our offense. They're just playing harder, they're more physical, they're tougher. Honestly, we're very lucky right now. Lots to improve on in the second half. Thanks, Coach. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break. Ready for the second half. Pleased to have you tune in. What better way to start than by checking out the contenders to the dunk contest on All-Star Weekend? It's early in the season, but let's glance at the candidates for this year's dunk contest. Some of the game's top athletes in the spotlight. Man, these guys practice their dunks for countless hours, man. They know their fans are expecting a show. Make the first dunk. Now, looking at the first half of play in our featured game, what a disaster it's been for the Philadelphia 76ers. They couldn't get anything from beyond the arc. Obviously, plenty of bad shots, but they couldn't even hit wide open ones. They need to regroup, I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get on pace. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. An impressive effort here today. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And on the floor for Doc Rivers as we get into the second half. Rival and Harris at the three and the four. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Tucker in at center, filling off the middle. Now here's Valanciunas. McCullum outside. On oh, target from range. He's got 10. That's a knockdown outside shooter. McCullum knows he has the green light to fire away from downtown anytime. Harden against McCullum. Launches it. Tucker, no good. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. 
Anderson passes to McCullum. Pass to Valentunas. Here's Williamson. Defended by Harden. Williamson misses. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Harden, the pass to Maxi. Outside Tucker. was fouled while in the act of shooting so he'll take two free throws that's on Jonas Valanciunas and good whistle there at the line for two PJ at the line for two take a break take a break two shots First free throw is good. Embiid, he's checked in for the Sixers. He makes one of two that time. For New Orleans, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Jones, the pass to Ingram. Here's Valanciunas. McCullum outside. Shot clock at five. Driving to the basket. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Saturday, they're off to Oklahoma City to face off with the Thunder. Then on Monday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. It's no secret around the league that this team loves playing in their own building. They're loaded with home games over the next stretch, so this is a chance to win some ball games. No good on that one. A late bloomer. C.J. McCollum's career has been fun to watch unfold. And I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. And the 76ers making a change here. Melton's checked in. And the second free throw is good. And here's Harden. He's got seven. Pass to Embiid. Shoots over Valanciunas. And the basket by Embiid. Embiid's got 23. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense. Not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Now here's McCollum. Now here's Valanciunas. Embiid covers. Jones pass to McCollum. And the Pelicans miss again. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. McCullum against Harden. Embiid, the screen on Valachunas. Harris passes to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down! And we have witnessed Harden becoming a dynamic playmaker over time, including improving as a distributor. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. And here's Ingram from the arc. And again, New Orleans, no good. And they have started out this quarter shooting just 20%. Let's just say this is not the way they want to open the second half. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said not to brag or anything, but I'm really good in this game. And I'm selfish. I play the right way. I try to do what I need to do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. VA? Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. Harden against McCullum. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Oh, there's the alley! And Williamson throws it down. Did you guys feel that? When Zion slams it, the floor shakes. Harden with it. He's got seven. Oh, they get a hand on it. And a fast break for the Pelicans. Harris.
Morris against Williamson. Ingram, pass to McCullum. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And McCullum isn't afraid of contact, especially when he's being aggressive and looking to score. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for New Orleans. The free throw drops for McCollum. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Philadelphia, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Pass to Harris. Embiid against Valanciunas. Embiid misses. You have to credit their effort. They, they've done an amazing job on the glass. On the wing, Jones. Ooh, stolen by Harden. Three on three. Stolen by Valanciunas. Here's Jones. Rebound by the 76ers. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. Hard pass to Thibel. Pass to Embiid. Five to shoot. And the layup is good off the glass. Embiid's got eight points here in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Now here's Ingram. He's got six. He's found Judas. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Joel Embiid. Confronting a shooter of JV's stature is never easy, and he can make them pay for that mistake at the line. The free throw drops to Alan Chudas. New Orleans making some changes. Nance comes in for Zion Williamson, and Alvarado's subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for the Sixers. Milton comes in for Harden. And so he gets them both. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of nine in the third quarter. Milton outside. Hook loose. Here's Alvarado, covered by Milton. Jones gets to the corner and hits it. And the Pelicans lead by 14. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Milton passes to Harris. To the paint. And Harrell with the basket. On the assist by Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. New Orleans has gone one of four here in the third from range. Here's Alvarado. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Valanciunas, good. Yeah, he's a top-tier offensive rebounder. Valanciunas uses his size and strength to his advantage to do damage on the boards. Now here's Milton. Harris outside. Harrell, a screen on Nets. Harris passes to Harrell. The kick out to Milton. Back to Harrell. Another shot. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Some scouts wondered about Harrell's fit as a modern big. But every night, you see the commitment and the hustle. And his energy is just infectious. Shoot two.
zone. Some changes for New Orleans. Hayes is checked in for Balanchunas. Murphy comes in for Jones. And Graham subbed in for Ingram. He hits the second from the line. The Pelicans shooting about 40% so far in the third. Nance outside. Pass to Alvarado. And here's Graham. Hayes with a screen on Melton. And stolen by Melton. Harris outside. Melton outside. Pass to Milton. Six on the shot clock. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. No debate about Shake Milton's true position is still going on. Shooting guard win. Everybody's got to win. Taking two shots. Shoot two. And he makes a first. And maybe with Milton, it's a matter of how to get the most out of his versatility, Richard. That's the key. He's a good spot-up shooter, but he's good with the ball in his hands, too. And he can facilitate. It's a good problem for a coach to have. Tucker's checked in for the Sixers. Good on both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Pass to Nance. Hayes inside. Harrell on him. Here's Murphy. Nance outside. No good with the triple. The 76ers have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Bible passes to Melton. Fires for three. And they get it back. On the wing, Milton. Now Tucker. Pass to Thibel. And here's Melton for three. He can't get it to go. Just an ugly show for him. Yeah, no way to describe it. Just ugly. Yeah, that has it. It's stolen by Thibel. Here's the break. Milton with it. And it's Graham picking him up. That cuts the lead to single digits. <laughs> That's a good way to shrink the deficit. Strong defense turns into easy offense. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, trying to close that gap is going to hinge on plays like this one, creating high percentage looks right inside. Now here's Graham. 13 points in the game. Dival on the wing. He's defended by Hayes. Pass to Milton. Outside Tucker. Four on the clock. And the three-pointer goes. Tucker's got six points. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Things are firing on all cylinders for them right now. We'll see if they can keep it going. Now here's Hayes. Give him eight points now. Back to Nance. And the layup is good. Nance has got his second bucket on the night. And that's how you lead a team. Literally. Pass to Harold. Outside Milton. Sweet little floater. Milton's got four points this quarter. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Now here's Graham. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. And Milton pulls it down. A minute 58 left in the third quarter. Pass to Melton. Fires the three, and the 76ers another three. 
In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. Graham, the pass to Nance. Out to the right wing. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Murphy, covered by Thibel. Now Graham, over Melton. Graham misses. Now here's Melton. Outside Milton. Pass to Thibel. This for the time! That one no good. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. They've led by as many as 14. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. Hayes, and the shot goes down. Hayes has got 10 points. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Melton passes to Harold. There's the block. And it's out of bounds. The Sixers able to retain possession here. Just a superb read on defense to come up with the block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with the forward. New Orleans making some changes. Ingram's checked in for Murphy, and it's McCollum in for Graham. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Maxey's checked in. Tucker finds Thibel. Carroll, a screen on Ingram. Six to shoot. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Maxi against McCullum. Outside Ingram. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. Three quarters of play and a close one here. The Pelicans on top, up by three. And will return shortly. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Larry Nance is out here with Brandon Ingram. Good to show us how it us. Then there's C.J. McCullough, and it's Alvarado in at the one spot. That's the Pelicans' five. Now here's Harris. Pass to Maxi. And here's Embiid. Valanciunas covering. Embiid passes to Harden. Takes one from 10 feet. Good. And the assist to Embiid. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Harris outside. Pass to Harden. And he lobs it up top. Ooh, the death touch on the lob. Almost the ideal stretch for it. He has the length, the shooting ability. Everything is an asset for this squad. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Ingram against Harris. Dance with a screen on Harris. Here's Ingram. And Tucker pulls it down. Tucker's got four rebounds now. To the middle. Here's Maxi. Oh, nice D from McCollum. The Pelicans trail. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's McCollum. Let's it go for 11. And that one's long. The 76ers have gone 2 of 3 to open the fourth quarter. Now 
Now here's Embiid. Out to the right wing. Maxi passes to Harris. Two points. That one goes. Harris has got four points this quarter. We're used to seeing Harris from the outside, but Tobias, he can step up. He's got the size to do some work down low. And the Pelicans call time here. And this late game timeout, getting a breather here. Important for the players to recharge. This is where you have a chance to get rehydrated with some Gatorade. has checked in for the Pelicans. Jones comes in for Alvarado. The 76ers also with a sub. Thibel, he's checked in for Tucker. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey guys, well, Willie Green had some advice for the team over that last break. He told his players not to worry about the score. He believes in their talent, and he believes they'll be the stronger team down the stretch. Now, they've just got to go out and prove it, guys. And Allie, thank you for that. Outside Ingram. To McCollum. Pass to Valanciunas. Ingram against Maxi. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. Now here's Ingram. The D's right on. Can't hit the free throw line jumper. Another miss from him. Struggling to find his rhythm. Here's Maxi. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Harden's got seven assists in the game. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Now here's Valanciunas. Ingram up top. Maxi covering. McCollum against Harden. Halt the run. Second chance shot. And it's blocked by Harden. Ooh, nice possible defense in And he's good on the second. He's playing the work and worn down the defense. Now they're getting a little sloppy, and it's allowed them to get to the line more this half. Pass to Embiid. Outside Maxi. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It'll be on Zion Williamson. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. That's a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. That 2020 draft was so deep. 
Tyrese Maxey going 21. Maxey is already a premier scorer, a steal that late in the first round. Free throws good from Maxi. Tyrese Maxi, part of that loaded 2020 rookie class. Richard. At the top of the first, Anthony Edwards. He is an absolute star. So is the middle. Last pick of the first round, Desmond Bain. Like Maxi, though, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bay are great picks in that 20 area. Now here's Harden. Outside title. Here's Embiid. That one's wide left. Well, the Pelicans shooting around 44%. Not bad. McCollum outside. Back to Ingram. Pass to McCollum. Shoots over Harden. And again, no good by New Orleans. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. It's colder than cold. But you don't have to shoot it like that. It's okay to pass the ball. Now here's Embiid over Jones. No good off the back of the rim. It's a six-point game. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Ingram, pass to Valanciunas. Down low, here's Harden. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. And the 76ers lead by eight. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Harden against McCollum. Valanciunas with a screen on Harden. McCollum, shot is off. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Pass to Embiid. Outside Maxi. Oh, sweet move. And it's good on the lay-in. And it's a 10-point Philadelphia lead. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're real and he's gonna put his foot on the ground. Now here's McCollum. Shoots over Harden. And again, New Orleans, no good. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping him behind. Embiid passes to Maxi. That's good from Embiid. All the assist from Maxi. Embiid's got 10 points here in the second half. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. To win the crowd. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. James Harden picks one up. First one falls, and last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. He's off on the second. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Pass to Harris. Here's Embiid. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Embiid's got 33 points. Hammering the offensive glass. Embiid putting that big size to use. Here's Williamson. Now McCollum. Williamson with a screen on Harris. Shots good by McCollum. His second triple of the half. That's two more than he had in the first. So things, I guess, are changing. 
trendy in the world. Pass to Embiid. Rival with it. Embiid with it. Over Valanciunas. Valanciunas with a rebound. Valanciunas has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Ingram finds Valanciunas. The ball's not loose. Patsy with it. And it's Ingram picking him up. Maxi against Ingram. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Harden, the pass to Thibault. Now Embiid, Valanciunas covering. The fadeaway. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Embiid's got 14 points here in the second half. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Pass to Ingram. And Chunas with a screen on Maxi. Here's Ingram. And it's Harris with the rebound. He hasn't done a whole lot to help their cause today. They could have used more offense from him. Up top, Embiid. With a main Embiid move at 280. Anyone defend that man. Hayes has checked in for New Orleans. Taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for MB. Makes the first, but misses the second. New Orleans has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Looking to get it going. And Ingram with the finish. This is absolutely so easy on an offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now here's Maxi. Pass to Embiid. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCullough. That's his first foul. Alvarado's checked in for C.J. McCullough. Jones against Thibel. Screen by Embiid. Just five on the clock. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Embiid's got 38 points. New Orleans calls timeout.
New Orleans has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. And there's the lob. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley. Beautifully done. He served it up on a platter. And Philadelphia calls time here. Got his fifth assist in this one. New Orleans now. Time running out. Outside Ingram. Williamson to the screen on Maxi. Ingram. It's hauled in by the Sixers. The Bible's got four rebounds now. Up top, Harden. And he lobs it up. It's tipped. Stolen by Jones. Williamson up top. Defended by Harden. Jones against Thibel. Pass to Alvarado. Right side Ingram. From the arc. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Well, with a comeback out of range, we could put a bow on this one. Good performance for the 76ers. It was stop and go for them along the way, but they finally seized full control of this game. <laughs> B.A., the scoreboard definitely doesn't tell the whole story. They were able to pull things together when things got tough. And, of course, they closed strong. And this will go down as win number 25 for them this year. And against a non-conference opponent, you really want to win the first one. They'll go into the next one knowing how to beat this team for sure. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Joel Embiid. He certainly got to see his best effort on offense, attacking the defense without fear and grabbing a lot of buckets. Here's Maxi. After the Pelicans picking up a basket a moment ago. Misses in close. 
eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Williamson. Here's Hayes. Banked it in off the glass. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. Maxi with it. So, no problem for Philadelphia as they get the win. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you gotta do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. James, this team seems to be clicking. What's been the key lately? Uh, we're just more aggressive. More aggressive. Uh, guys are getting it, and they're playing much harder. It's a good winner for us. Continue to build and continue to keep our spot up. Uh, um, great team effort for us. It's up to you to keep them aggressive. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Last but not least, here is your New Balance Player of the Game, Joel Embiid.